Hello and welcome to the JK Feather Ranch channel. As you can probably tell, I'm standing outside the very old crappy window to our completely uninsulated bedroom. And since it is winter, we are going to fix that so it doesn't get quite so cold in there. Uh, we're going to do that by blowing cellulose insulation into the walls. Normally you would do that by renting a machine from Home Depot. However, that requires the purchase of 20 bags. In our case, we already purchased the 20 bags and used up our free rental, but didn't actually use them all because we weren't ready to insulate the whole house. So we're going to improvise. So instead of renting the blower from Home Depot, which costs $125 if we don't buy 20 bags, I'm using this leaf vacuum instead, which seems to do about as good of a job, if not better. Uh, it does seem to produce a little bit higher pressure, which helps pack the insulation in a little tighter. So for my hose, I have a piece of two and a half inch dust collection hose that I bought for about $50 in a 40 foot length. Uh, I just connected that into the output of the leaf vacuum. This is the part that normally goes on to the bag and I secured everything with a hose clamp and inside I've got some duct tape to seal the gap and hold it tight. So that just connects to the output of the vacuum. Just slides in and doesn't go anywhere. And on the other end, I've got one of these couplings. It's a two and a half inch straight coupling on one end and a screw connection on the other end that my hose screws into. I got these in a four pack on Amazon for $10. All the links to the products I use will be in the description. And on the end of it, to seal it into the hole on the wall to prevent dust, I'm simply using a piece of car wash sponge that I have cut in half. I sort of made an angle on this side so it'll seal up against the wall and I drilled a hole in the middle, just using a hole saw on my drill in reverse. So it slides over this perfectly, fits up against the wall, and there's almost no dust. Outside manning the blower, we have my lovely assistant, Mrs. JK Feather Ranch. Hello. And she's gonna tell you guys about the setup we're using. So, to make this a lot simpler, uh, you wanna have a large bucket and tump all your stuff in. But before you do that, you do want to have everything plugged in so that it's going to be the easiest setup for you. It's not very easy to go ahead and sit here feeding in your material and then all of a sudden you notice this is about to blow in your face and you can't possibly get up fast enough to fiddle around and shut off the switch back here. So you do want to have the blower itself plugged into an extension cord and plugged into a surge protector. And easiest thing is having it right here handy on the handle of your bucket. Uh, because you wanna be able to flip this on and off as soon as you notice that this is going to start backing up because the wall is to capacity. Let's give these walls a blow job. When the wall is full, the sound will change and the pressure in the hose will increase. So there you have it, a way to blow insulation into a wall without having to rent the machine. If you're going to be doing an attic, I do recommend renting the machine only because it's a lot easier to load full bales of insulation into the hopper instead of throwing little chunks at a time into the leaf vacuum, but otherwise this works just fine. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment below. Thanks for watching. Hold on. Brian. Emergency. Brian. No.
Don't you dare. 